Nishtha Yadav. I'm from Kota, Rajasthan, and I'm a student of MBA first year student. Okay, so the first slide is, what does an internship mean? So an internship could be defined like a professional learning program where one, whatever you have learned in a classroom, in a closed classroom, gets, gets a practical view. You get to spend all, you get whatever you have learned in class, all the theories, the skills, the formulas, you get to do all of that in a practical real office. So a good internship would practically consist of um, a part-time or a full-time job, any of the two. And it is much of a learning experience as it is work. So, and if you're lucky enough, there are sometimes a chance that you get to, you are hired by the same company that you're interning in if, you are, if they like your work. <clears throat> So is it a good idea? Internships are a great way to knowledge, great way to apply knowledge, get from the books and classrooms to the real world. Because learning is one thing, but is it really worth it if you cannot apply all the, that you have learned in class to a real world? So having an internship experience in the field that you are willing to join in the future also helps you to know that whatever you are you know, putting your step in, putting your feet in is really worth your interest. Are you really interested in that field? So, and according to a LinkedIn research report of 2018, it has been stated that soft skills, such as communication skills, leadership skills, problem solving and teamwork soft skills are more important than the technical skills. And, the, and these soft skills are, can only be learned during an internship when you get to do it practically. And most organizations that one applies for want their employees to have some kind of experience. You know, they wouldn't want you to have like zero experience. They want you to know something about the work. They wouldn't, they won't be happy handling you all the work of their company in the hands of a zero experienced person. So there are broadly seven types of internships, paid internships. These are the most common ones because these are usually, you know, done by private companies because they have the kind of money to offer you while you work for them. Next is internship for credit. These are usually done by the university students for the extra credit points. Nonprofit organiz uh, organizations in which you can intern, they may, you may not get the pay, but I, at least if you have a dream of working into a nonprofit organization in an NGO, you get to experience that. <clears throat> Next is summer internships, which are done during the summer vacation of your college or university breaks, uh, which are about one to two months. Service learning, it's a, it's a, you know, like an internship where you get to do service for the company, for the society in free, and you get to learn there. Cooperative education, in here you get to learn and practical field work at the same time. Externships, Externships are uh, like common to, they are similar to the internships, but the internships are, you know, they are from your side and externships are some in universities important to do, they're compulsory. Okay, so sometimes less is not enough. This heading is a sarcastic comment to the English famous saying of less is enough. Okay, so internship sometimes one is not enough because the employers working there want you to have more than one internship because the more the better. Internships helps you discover your passion. You know, you might be interested in one field, but when you actually work there, you get to know if you are still interested in that field and you want that job in that company again, or in that field. You get to diversify your skills. During an internship, students can apply their theoretical knowledge into the practical world, as said before, and be confident about the major, uh, major practical work that they get to do and excel in their studies. Completing an internship allows the students to gain hand-on experience in the field that interests them. Now, these are some stats on internships, which are 50% of internships result in full-time job offers. Only 11.1% of respondents find their internships through a company website. 56% of surveyed students are still searching for a job or internship amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, which is really bad. Internship experience has been ranked by recruiters as the number one candidate criteria, which explains why internships are really important by one more reason. Four-fifths of students 
who have an internship said their professionalism and work ethic where they were very or extremely improved by the experience. Graduates with a paid internship of 34% more are more likely to receive at least one job offer upon graduation. The number of work experience places available in the UK, United Kingdom, leading graduate employees increased by 1.8% in 2019. <clears throat> now, the effect that internships can have. Internships are important, but now what are the good pros of the internships? So number one, experience matters. During an internship, you get to be you get the opportunity to train as well as improve your skills during the program. You get to learn your new soft skills and hard skills that will be very important in the future. <clears throat> knowledge is important. As stated before, all the theoretical knowledge were learned in the class could be applied in the practical field. Good pay. Sometimes a good pay, you get a good pay during an internship and a good pay doesn't hurt anyone, does it? Building an impressive resume. So now your resume, what are you gonna write in your resume? A fresher's resume is usually the empty one. You wouldn't want that when you apply to a new job. So more than one, you know, internships could help you build your resume in a more impressive way. <clears throat> Clear vision on your career. Okay, so when we have a dilemma of choosing what we want as our career and you're, you know, having a dilemma in choosing between two of them, so internships could help you get a clear view on that. Acting professional. Now, during a professional, you get to know that there are consequences to your action. If you're late, you get to, you get an accident, you're getting your cut for one day, which makes you realize that you have to act professional as an intern too. Personal development skills. Now you will be equipped with enthusiasm whenever you get a new opportunity. You will start feeling responsible towards the work since you are not individually affected by the result. <clears throat> As it is not a school assignment that you get to do alone only. Now how to stand out as an intern. Very important because there are gonna be many interns with you but you have to stand out in them. So some of the tips could be be on time. Don't be afraid to ask a lot of questions. Be attentive and be informed. Dress properly. Be positive and sociable. Be willing to work. Communicate with your supervisors, which is very important. So now whatever has happened in the year 2020, a lot has changed in the cooperative world. So the top soft skills now, which are gonna be needed after 2020 will be creativity, persuasion, collaboration, adaptability, emotional intelligence, and time management. The top hard skills could be blockchain, business analysis, sales, sales, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and so on. Now, how to find internships? It's very important. We have now learned all about why internships are important and why should we do it, but how to find an internship? So number one is starting the search early. You should start early because some companies, some good companies which are hiring interns may close their lines before you would know. And so you should start your search early as soon as you decide to get into an internship. Identifying your interests, it is important. What are your interests? Because something that you're not, in, not interested in won't do you any good to you or the company. Checking online resources. There are so many sites and apps online, which, will, which could really help you in identifying the companies who are hiring in your interest field. Contact employers. There are employers who, you know, work the working, uh, hire the employers and they also hire the interns. So you could contact them for help. Networking always helps. Speaking to your family, friends, college faculty, they can always provide you a path. Now, how to differentiate yourself? It's important to differentiate yourself from others or otherwise you're lost in a crowd. Number one is impression. It's important to have a good first impression. Interests, sharing your interests, like other than what you're doing in an office, like hobbies, some extracurricular activities. Education, if you have an interesting degree, a de 
degree other than other than normally people do is a good point skills what are your hard and soft skills which differentiate yourself impact how do you impact others how do you help them in any way reputation is important it, it is what precedes you personal brand can be achieved with differentiation and personality your personality is again what attracts and engages people now what are the things that should be done in an internship during an internship you should be enthusiastic about working you shouldn't be dull like yeah you have to complete this job you should be enthusiastic to complete the job you are assigned say thanks being polite never goes out of style you should always be polite stay in touch sometimes saying hi and dropping hi emails works taking notes taking notes and make sure you don't forget anything important work happening in the company finding a mentor so not everyone will be willing to teach you but you're going to find someone and when you find them stick to them be on time again acting professional is important observe what is not learned by mugging up is learned by observing the line says it all now the best companies with best summer internships some of them are as follows dell technologies ge l'oreal facebook google etc brain and co now the conclusion so the conclusion in a nutshell is that internships are very important and and in almost every sector and type of company from a large multinational corporation to a small startup now offers internships so you can apply in any of them uh when we look at the stats they state all the reasons why you have to apply for an internship the reason why internships are good for students looking for their first role becomes clear 85% of companies use internships to recruit for full time roles with former interns projected to fill 37% of the graduate vacancies getting work experience is an essential aspect of starting your own career as a young graduate the earlier you start the more experience you can add on on your cv and the better it can help you demonstrate your committed and capabilities to an employer while highlighting the skills that are both appropriate and transferable to the post you're applying for an internship is one of the best ways to gain gain that all important job experience before getting an actual one so yeah internships are a full form of future investments